Hey, everybody. Hey, 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 everybody. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Absolutely. It's a come on in. It's a victory day. This is the day that the Lord has made. We come to rejoice and be glad in it. How's everybody doing? Let me get my IG folks up in here. Oh, y'all know, y'all know. Let me get my IG folks in here. Hey, hey, hey. It's a victory day. It's day number four. Everybody type day number four. Day number four. It's day number four. It's day number four. It's a victory day. It's a victory day. How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? It's day number four, day number four. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us for day number four. All right, let me make sure I got my IG folks. Come on in, IG. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. They're going to kill me if I don't bring them on. Hold on, everybody. Hey, come on in. Tell me where you guys checking in from. Tell me where you guys checking in from. Where you guys checking in from? Yep, day number four. Thank you all so very much. How many of you all been here the um, day on day number one? How many of you started the journey with me on day number one? You started the journey with me. Holla at me. All right. I'm doing it tonight, inspiration. Yep. Come on, IG. Let's go. All right. Day number four. Day number four from New York. Okay. God bless you, New York. God bless you. Day number four from um, South Carolina. God bless you. God bless you. Hey, hey, hey. Come on in. Day number four. Day number four. We're doing 10 days. We're doing 10 days of the ascension. 10 days to Pentecost. This is day number four. What's up, Luanda? God bless you. Hey, good morning, Arizona. God bless you. God bless you. You've been all day. Hey, day number four. Day number four. How y'all doing? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's a victory day. Mississippi. Mississippi, New York. Hey, let us know. Let us know where you're tuning in from this morning. Let us know where you're tuning in from this morning. Let us know where you're tuning in from this morning. Yep, let us know where you're tuning in from this morning. Fantastic. Let us know where you're tuning in from this morning. God bless you all. Arizona, South Carolina, D.C., Tampa, Florida. All right, all right, all right. Fantastic, 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 fantastic. New York City, Houston, Texas, New York. Fantastic, fantastic. All right. Okay. Okay. Hey, listen, Um, you have a deaf ministry. Do you have a deaf ministry? That person who is on my IG, you have a deaf ministry. If you have a deaf ministry, can you, that's what I'm reading. Can you, Nigeria, God bless you. Can you inbox me? Cause I'm looking for somebody to come on and sign while I'm teaching. I'm looking for somebody to come on and sign. If you have a, not sing, but sign. If you have a deaf ministry, inbox me directly, send me something or send it at, at the word victory at victorygracecenter.org. All right. All right. The Lord woke me up this morning. I was thinking about people who are 
uh, in paid, um, you know, and why not we make sure we can minister to them. South Africa, God bless you. All right, guys, God bless you, my good friend Vita Moko. Hey, Miss Joanne Taylor, happy birthday. Everybody, Miss Joanne Taylor, today's her birthday, uh, 76 years of age. Hey, Miss Joanne, happy birthday. Now she's like, oh, Pastor told the whole world. I'm sorry. Okay, but happy birthday, Miss Joanne. We love you. We love you. We love you from VGC. Everybody, make sure you give a shout out to Miss Joanne. All right, Deacon Joanne Taylor, the peace of the Lord be with you. And we pray for long life and good health. All right, all right, send the email. If you have a deaf ministry, send the email to victory at victorygracecenter.org. And if you love to sing, if you're a psalmist, not practice, I'm practicing. But if you can really sing, send something to uh, Solomon Production or Production at uh, at victorygracecenter.org. I'm building while I'm taking off. I'm Bill Sandra Smith. Sandra Smith, I know you can sing. So Sandra, uh, my daughter in the ministry, send me something. Why is it that I'm looking for singers or psalmists? Is because we are going through the book of Psalms. What are we going through? We are going through the book of Psalms. And today is day number four. Day number four on the 10 days, on the 10 days ascension. Uh, Brother Solomon, you can take the e card off. We're doing 10 days. Thank you. We're doing 10 days. I love this guy. I love him. He's so faithful. Y'all give it up. Isn't it crazy that his name is Solomon? Right. Okay. That's okay. Y'all got it. Right. Okay. Anyway, he's the son of David. He's a worshiper and we're going to bring him on. Maybe tomorrow he'll come on and sing for us or later on today. All right. That's my resident psalmist. That's my David. He's the son of David. All right. The son of the, Dr. JS too. Anyway, so here we go. So we are on a 10 days. How many days journey? We are on a 10 days journey, a 10 days journey to Pentecost. We started on the day of ascension, which was May 21st. We started on the on the day of ascension, which was May 21st. And we know that Pentecost is going to be celebrated on May 31st. All right. Hey guys, you can watch, you can start some watch party also. Invite some people to watch this broadcast with you guys. All right, watch this with you guys. So again. We started on day uh we started on day uh day 21st which is the ascension and we are going all the way we're going all the way we're going all the way to Pentecost and Pentecost is going to be celebrated on May 31st Pentecost is going to be celebrated on May 21st Pentecost. There's my good friend Vita McCoy too. Vita, I'm gonna have to pull you in uh, so you can sing. All right, I'm gonna have to pull you in either on first Facebook or whatever. Lady V, I'm getting all these sounds. It's Lady V, Vita McCoy, uh, Sandra Smith. All right, all right, I'm gonna get them lined up for next week. So when I start next week, they're gonna be singing. So y'all send something to uh to Solomon and we're gonna plug y'all in on every day. We are in the book of Psalms and we study in the, the Psalms of Ascension. There are 10 Psalms. How many Psalms? There are 10 Psalms. Uh, well, they're really more than 10. It's 15 Psalms. 15, sorry. There's 15 Psalms that the, that the children of Israel sang. They didn't, they didn't say it. They didn't read it. They did what? They sang on their way to Jerusalem, on their way to the place of worship, on their way up. They would be singing a song they will be singing a psalm so god give me this idea to take you guys on this journey to jerusalem remember pentecost the first pentecost the first pentecost took place where in jerusalem in the upper room the first pentecost took place where in jerusalem in the upper room all right the first pentecost took place in jerusalem where did it take place in Jerusalem and in the upper room. Yesterday, of course, for those of you who just joining us, you got to go back and watch all the video on YouTube because I can't go back through it. All right. So we started off with the first Psalm and the first Psalm, watching from Trinidad, Trinidad, God bless you, love you. The first Psalm was Psalms 120. What was the first Psalm? Give it back to me. The first Psalm was what? 120. Psalms 120. Isn't it amazing that Pentecost, uh, in Jerusalem, there was 120 people in the upper room, and the first psalm of ascension, the first psalm of ascension is Psalms 
120. All right, we dealt with that already. Y'all got to go back and look at the YouTube channel. That was day number one. Then day number two was Psalms 121. What was day number two? Day number two was Psalms 121. All right, day number two was what? Psalms 121. Psalms 121. All right, Psalms 121. All right, we know it. I'm going to have to get my Bible. Hold on, y'all. Psalms 121 was day number two. All right. I think that was when I broke out in my song. Hallelujah. And y'all were laughing at me, but y'all can laugh at me if you want. I'm going to sing it anyway, because when they went up to Jerusalem, they were not concerned about singing on key. There was no praise team. They all were the praise team. All right. Psalms 121. I will lift up my eyes onto the hills. From whence come with my help. Y'all got it? Psalms 121. That was day number two. All right, all right, all right. Verse eight in Psalms 121. All right, the Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth, even forevermore. That's Psalms 121. That was day number two. All right, that was day number, Psalm 121 was day number two. Now, Psalm, Psalms 122. Psalms 122 was day number three. Lord, we got in trouble yesterday. Did we get in trouble yesterday? Did God show up in a mighty way? My God, Psalms 122 was day number three. All right, Psalms 122. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet has been standing with it, your gates, O Jerusalem. This is going to be good. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Even when you are going to church virtually, hello, somebody, Even it's, you should be glad. You should be excited. Is there anybody glad about church today? Anybody excited about going to church? even virtually hello somebody anybody excited about being singing in the worship and hearing the word of god is there anybody excited about going to the house of the Lord, even virtually, even virtually. That's why I don't care what the president says, we're going to church virtually until he comes to church. Mr. President, come to my church when I open up, but he doesn't go to anybody's church. How can he tell us to go to church. We already going to church. We are already in church. We already been essential worker. I don't know about anybody, but the church has already been open. We never close our doors. We just on a different platform, but we still feeding people. We still ministering to people. We still preaching the word. I don't know what he talking about, but we are still here. Hello, somebody. So the psalmist said in Psalms 122, I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet has been standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. And yesterday I started off this thing and Lord, the Holy Ghost showed up. Y'all messed the whole thing up. I said on yesterday, we started talking about a place. Number one, we started talking about the place. And what is the place? The place is Jerusalem. That's where the children of Israel were gathered to worship three times a year. They will gather corporately for worship three times a year. We, we gather every Sunday for corporate worship. Uh, we gather every Sunday for corporate worship. We'll talk about that later on. But listen, the children of Israel gather three times a year for corporate worship. They gather three times a year for corporate worship. They gather during Passover, Pentecost, and the Feast of the Tabernacle. They would gather three times a year. And so there is a place for worship. There is a place for worship. There is a what? What is it? There is a place for worship. In the Old Testament, it was called Jerusalem. Hello, somebody. God bless you. In the Old Testament, it was called Jerusalem. Jerusalem is where they went. It was Jerusalem was the place of worship. My goodness, my goodness. So wherever, I would say wherever there is worship, there is Jerusalem. Wherever there is worship, there is Jerusalem. If there is worship on IG, there is is Jerusalem. If there is worship on Facebook, there is Jerusalem. Jerusalem is the center place of worship. And listen, as we're talking about it, it's the center place inside of you, the place of worship. It is the highest 
a highest peak. It is the highest point. Hello, somebody. Our it's the highest peak and it's the highest point. So Jerusalem is the place of worship. Of course, many of you guys know if you're joining us for the first time as I'm teaching, we're asking everybody to set aside a special offering of $120 seed. You can do it uh, one time or you can break it out in the next 10 days. But uh, all of you guys, the 200 of you guys, we want you to set aside a seed. All right. So again, number one I talked about yesterday was the place. Yesterday was the place. All right. They would go up to Jerusalem. So Psalms 122 talks about them going up to Jerusalem. Another word for Jerusalem is the city of God. Another word for Jerusalem is a joyful city. Jerusalem is a 400, 400,000 year old uh, history. It is one of the oldest city on earth. And that place is mentioned 806 times in the Bible. I'm just doing a quick review. Then we went to Luke chapter 19, where Jesus went to Jerusalem on Palm Sunday. Jesus went to Jerusalem on Palm Sunday. Sunday. Jesus went to Jerusalem on Palm Sunday. We went to Jerusalem and we studied that. And then we saw the man who came down from Jerusalem and he was stripped. He was robbed. He was beaten, but he was left half dead. Did y'all catch that? My God, that's when the glory show up. Go back and see it. All right. So he, we go up to worship. We go up to worship. We go where? We go up to worship and we come down to witness. All right. We go up to worship, we come down to witness. Give it back to me. We go up to worship, we come down to witness. Give it back to me. We go up to worship, we come down to witness. We go up, 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 up. We go up, 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 up. We go up, 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 up. That's why our hands go up. That's why our praise goes up. That's why our energy goes up. That's why our excitement goes up. We go up, 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 up. Up, we go up, 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 we go up for worship. We go up, we go up, we go up, we go up, we go up for worship. Where you go? We go up in our spirit, we go up in our energy, we go up in our mind, we go up, 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 up. This is not no dead worship. This is not no dead worship. When we go to worship, we go up, we get excited about worship. We say this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. That's why the psalmist said in, in Psalms 122, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to worship. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to worship. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into, let's go to worship. I was glad they said unto me, let's go to worship. And worship, I might as well give you all a couple of worship 101, seeing that you're worshiping on, uh, on virtually. Let me give you worship 101, worship 101. You have, it's about engagement. Worship is not about being a spectator. It's about being a participator. Give it back to me. Worship is not about being a spectator. It's about being a participator. Give it back to me. Give it back to me. Worship is not about being a spectator. It is about being a participator. Now I understand it can be very challenging because you're in your house and you are in your pajamas and you are in whatever your living room and because you don't see people or whatever. But my goodness, true worship is when you can worship all by yourself. Hello, somebody. True worship, authentic worship is when you can worship all by yourself. That's why all during the week we worship God and worship involves with work, how I work. I worship God, how I work, how I answer the phone, how I respond to email, how I respond to people, how I respond to my children. All right, but worship is about, worship is about engagement. Worship is about being a participator and not a spectator. Give it back to me, IG people. Worship is about being a participator and not a spectator. Look what the psalmist said. He said, I was glad. What did I, what did the psalmist say? I'm in Psalms 121. He said 122. I was glad. All right, come on, give it back to me. I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. I was glad. 
I was glad. I didn't wait till I get to worship to be glad. I didn't wait till I get to worship to be excited. I didn't wait till I turn on my computer. I didn't wait till I got on IG. I didn't wait till I get on YouTube. I didn't wait till I got on Facebook. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. So worship is not about being a spectator. Worship is about being a participator. Listen, listen. Also listen in Psalms 100. Let's go there. Psalms 100. Psalms 100 tells us how we ought to enter into the presence of God, even virtually. You see, I am concerned that many of you guys are entering to IG, you're entered into Facebook, you'll have, but you have not entered into the presence of God. Just because you are on IG don't mean you're in the presence of God. Just because you're on Facebook don't mean you've been in the presence of God. Just because you're on YouTube don't mean you've been in the presence of God. Look at it, Psalms 100. Make a joyful shout to the Lord. Make a joyful what? Shout to the Lord. Make a joyful shout to the Lord. Make a joyful shout to the Lord. Make a joyful shout or make a joyful noise. That's why I'm telling you guys, I am making, when I start singing, I am making noise and it's a joyful noise. It, it's not on key. That's for those professional singers. I'm not trying to be on key. I'm trying to worship. Hello, somebody. I'm not trying to be on key. I'm trying to worship. And Psalms 100 said, make a joyful shout to the Lord. All ye lands, serve the Lord with gladness. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. There it is. We come before his presence with what? With singing. We come before his presence with what? Singing. I'm going to help you all today to really have true, authentic worship virtually. True authentic worship virtually. True authentic worship virtually is when you are a participator and not a spectator. You participate and you're not a spectator. That means if your worship leader said lift your hands, you lift your hands. Even if you are lifting your hands with your coffee. Even if you're lifting your hands with your coffee, still lift your hands. We lift our hands in the sanctuary. We lift our hands and we give you the glory. We lift our hands and we give you the praise. And I will praise you for the rest of my days. Hello. We lift our hands in the sanctuary. Hello. We lift our hands and we give you the glory. Woo. We lift our hands and we give you the praise. Hello. Even if you got coffee in your hands, even if you got tea in your hand, lift your hands up. All right. So the psalmist said, then sing to the Lord. Look what he said. Sing. Come before his present with singing. The Lord loves your singing. Now your family don't like your singing because you're singing off key. Some of you don't like my singing because I'm off key. But listen, I'm not trying to impress you. I am trying to get in the presence of God. And the psalmist said, when we, when we come before his present, we ought to come with singing. So today when you go to worship and the praise team is singing, the words are on the screen. You ought to sing with them. You ought to sing with them. You to say great and mighty is he whoo great and mighty is he come on now you gotta sing you gotta you gotta all i'm telling you gotta open your mouth all right because worship is not being a spectator this is not a football game this is not no basketball game this is corporate worship, even virtually. And if you've been to any concert, the people who really enjoy the concert is the people who participate. Now, I've been, don't tell nobody, I've been to a few Beyonce's concert. I've been to a few Janet Jackson concert. And listen, I participate. Yes, yes, when Janet is singing control, what you think I'm doing? Yeah, you think I'm I'm not I'm not up in there in the spec in the stand unless I'm in the bleachers and I ain't trying to move because I'm not trying to fall over. But my goodness, if I paid faith, I will end I enter that concert with gladness. I've been to basketball game and football game and I entered the arena with gladness. I'm excited about it. That's how we ought to do it with worship. We will enter his gates with thanksgiving and enter his courts with praise. Hello, somebody. 
come before his presence with singing why know he is, he is God it is he who has made us we are his people and the sheep of his pasture I'm in Psalms 100 I'm telling you the groundwork for corporate worship even virtually we will enter his gates with thanksgiving can y'all tell me what you're thankful for this morning give it to me what are you thankful for this morning? Come on, what are you thankful for this morning? Come on, give it to me. What are you thankful? Yeah, you knew you. I was in the beehive. That's why I was in the beehive. That's why. That's why. Now today I'm in the praise hive. I'm in the praise hive. All right, what are you thankful for today? Give it to me. Let me make sure you're participating and not just being a spectator. Come on, what are thankful for life? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What are you thankful for? I will enter his gates with thanks given i will enter his gates with thanksgiving my god i'm thankful for life i'm thanking for family i'm thankful for friends i'm thankful for breath i see y'all thank him that i woke up this morning come on send it in send it in if you're thankful send up some heart send them something put it out there i'm thankful what are you th i'm thankful for salvation i'm thanking for life i thank him that god wake me up this morning i'm thankful for peace i thank him i thank i see y'all i see y'all so we and we enter his gates with thanksgiving we enter his gates with thanksgiving we enter his gates with thanksgiving and it says we enter his gates with thanksgiving and enter his courts with praise wow don't miss that i just moved from the gates and now i'm in the court my god my god I just moved from the gates and now I'm in the court. My God. He said, and I enter his courts with praise. I enter his courts with praise. Now, all of us know in the Old Testament, this is good. This is some good teaching. Dr. Jazz, you are teaching today. You doing your, you doing your doggone thing for the kingdom. Now we all know in the tabernacle, something I just get happy with my own self. We know in the tabernacle that there were three parts to the tabernacle. Tabernacle. There's how many parts of the tabernacle? There is three parts to the tabernacle. There is the outer court, there is the inner court, and there is the holies of holies. What did we say? There is the outer court, there is the inner court, and there is the holies of holies. There is the outer court. We're going till 7.30 today. This is the Lord's day. Sunday is the Lord's day. All right. There's the outer court, there's the inner court, and there's the holies of holies. And in order for us to go enter into the tabernacle we have to enter the gates we have to enter the what we have to enter the gates and how do we enter the gates we enter the gates with thanksgiving and we enter the gates with singing so when i think of jerusalem and i went to jerusalem maybe two years ago i went to jerusalem you have to go through the gates to go into jerusalem you have to go through the gates to go into jerusalem you have to go through where the gates my god my god the first entry point is the gate the first entry point is the gate my god and I, we can say it figuratively what opens the gates is thanksgiving what opens the gates is thanksgiving he said my god come on up in here enter into his gates with thanksgiving enter into his gates with thanksgiving the gates are open with thanksgiving the gates are open with thanksgiving my god i said the gates are the more grateful we are the more heaven opens up the more grateful we are come on up in here are there any grateful people out there 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 are you grateful that he woke you up this morning are you grateful that you got breath in your body are you grateful for your health and your strength are you grateful that you're in your right mind are you grateful for another day's journey are you grateful for your spouse and your family are there any grateful people out there are there any another word for grateful is thankful are there any thankful people it could have been me outdoor with no food hello somebody and no clothes hello 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 somebody we want to tell you thank you for all you brought us through all right so the gates are open with thanksgiving the gates are open with thanksgiving but listen listen you don't stay in the gates you don't stay in the gates. You got to come on in the court. You got to come on in the court. 
So the second step is the court. The second st step is the court. And he said, and into his courts with praise. And into his courts with praise. My goodness, and into his courts with praise. The second step, I just moved from the gate and now I'm in the court. My God, now I'm in the court. Hello, somebody. Now I'm in the court. My goodness, my goodness. And we know that there's the outer court. There is the inner court. And there is the holies of holies. Vida, y'all know that coming on now judah strong is out here hello somebody we know that there is the outer court there is the inner court and there is the holies of holies and he said he said he said and into his courts with praise so i move from a place of gratitude to now i'm giving him praise hello somebody i move from a place of thankfulness so now i'm praising him i'm praising him for i'm praising him for waking me up i'm praising him for how he kept me i'm praising him for he watched over my mind i'm praising him that he watched over my kids i'm praising him i'm not i have just moved the gates i've just left the gates and now I've entered his courts. I'm into his courts with praise. Hallelujah. I've entered his courts with praise. I've entered his courts with praise. My God, be thankful to him and then bless his name. My God. All right. So I'm now in the I'm in the outer court and I am thankful. And I got through the gate with being thankful. I move into the second court, and the second court is praise. Hallelujah. Praise, praise him on the cymbal, praise him on the drums, praise him with the keyboard. But listen, you don't have no cymbals at your house, you don't have no drums, you don't have no keyboard, you don't have no Hammond B3. Well, you still can praise him because what does the psalmist said in Psalms 150? Let everything that has, let everything that has, let everything that has, let everything that has. Well, everything that has what? So don't tell me, well, Pastor Jazz, we don't have no drums. We don't have no keyboard. We don't have no praise, Steve. You still are not excused. My goodness, he said, let everything that has breath. Is there a breath symbol out there? If there's a breath symbol, put it there. Let everything that has breath, praise ye the Lord. If you got breath in your body, if you are alive and kicking, if you are alive and kicking, are there anybody that's alive out there? Then let everything that has breath, praise ye the Lord, be thankful for him. And then the last thing, and bless his name. Now, when we talk about bless, that's the last court, and that is worship. That is worship. Are there any worshipers out there? I know y'all are praisers, but are there any worshipers out there? Are there any worshipers out there? Because when I worship God, I don't worship God for what he's done. I don't worship God for what he's about to do. I don't worship God for what he already did. I worship God for who he is. Come on, let's tell, tell me who he is. Tell me who he is to you. Tell me who he is to you. Let's worship, worship. Tell me who he is to you. What is he to you? Hey, Peggy Macklin, tell me what he is to, to you. Come on, put it right here. What is he to you? What is he to you? Come on, let's worship. Let's worship. Are there any worshipers out there? Oh, my goodness. When I worship, I focus on who he is. When I worship, I focus on who he is. Hey, Stephen Hood, I need you to come on here and just sing. Come, Stephen Hood, can I bring you in and just sing? There's a psalmist. There is Stephen Hood, y'all. Stephen Hood, I can, if I can get Stephen Hood to just come on in here. I worship him for who he is, for who he is, who is he? He's my comforter, he's my father, he's my savior, he's, he's my almighty God, he's Jehovah Jireh, he's Jehovah Shalom, he's my peace, he's my battle life, he's my everything, it's in him that I live, it's in him that I move, I move from now the outer court to now into the inner court, and I, you see, I'm, I'm, I learn now, I can't just invite anybody on, because they might be watching me in bed you know i gotta make sure they're out of the bed and they are dressed i can't just send nobody an invitation 
but i'm telling you we now move we move from the gates and now we are in my god now we are in the we are now in the court but now we want to go beyond the first court we want to go beyond the second court and now we worship him come on let's take a minute and worship him let's take a minute and worship him let's take a minute and what you are abba father you are way maker miracle worker promise keeper light in the darkness there you go my god look at it yeah that's who he is he's all of the. he's the lion of the tribe of judah he's the lion of the tribe of judah he's alpha and omega he's the beginning and the end that's right so you have not truly worshiped you haven't been into the place of worship until you've gone there so don't you just sit there this morning and be a spectator you got to be a participator what did i say you got to be a participator true worship is not being a spectator it is being a participator well i gotta move on that's the place that's a that's the place the place of worship and then yesterday he told me are in psalms again we are in psalms 122 psalms 122 we're looking at the ascension psalms the psalms that they did when they went up to jerusalem and not only are we talking about the place but we're talking about number two peace we're talking about peace because in psalms 122 he said jerusalem is built a city that is compact together where the tribes go up the tribes of the lord to the testimony of israel to give thanks to the name of the Lord for thrones are set there for judgment the thrones of the house of David and then he said pray for the peace of Jerusalem what's number two what's number two what's number two let's go that's number two all right we talk about the place and now he tells you and I that we ought to pray we ought to pray we ought to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We ought to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We ought to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We ought to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We ought to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We ought to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Remember, Jerusalem is the place of worship. And we ought to pray for the places wherever we gather to worship, even virtually, that there be peace, that there would be peace. But also, we ought to pray for the city of Jerusalem because Jerusalem is very dear to God's heart Jerusalem represents represent Jerusalem represent something unique we know that Jesus uh, was born in Bethlehem all right we know that so Jerusalem is important so we ought to pray for peace of Jerusalem Jerusalem is a city so we ought to be praying for our cities we ought to be praying for our cities whether that's whatever city you live in give it to me whatever city you live in we ought to be praying for the cities and he said pray for the peace of Jerusalem may they pray prosper here's the third p because i gotta move on i got 20 minutes may they prosper hello somebody we ought to pray for the place of jerusalem pray for the city of jerusalem that they may prosper that they may what that they may prosper my god my god i don't know why some of y'all belong to churches places of worship and you don't want that place to prosper you don't want that place to prosper the devil is a liar I said the devil is a liar. You want the place of your place of worship. Now remember, the place of your worship first is in your home. You want to pray for peace in your home. You want to pray for peace in your home. Hello, somebody. You want to pray for peace in your home. You want to pray for peace in your home. You want to pray for peace in your home. What did I say? You want to pray for peace in your home. You want to pray for peace in your home, in your home where you live. And then you want to pray for peace in the city. Now listen, Psalms 24, Psalms 24. The earth is the Lord and the fullness there was the world and those who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the sea, established it upon the flood. Who may ascend into the hills of the Lord? Who is going to ascend? Who is going to ascend? It's a question. Who is going to ascend? Go to Psalms 24. Who is going to ascend? Send into the hills of the Lord. The psalmist tells us the only people who are going to ascend into the hills of the Lord, into the presence of the Lord, into the presence of the Lord. He says in Psalms 24, or, or who will stand in his holy place. He said, here it is. Or oh, he who has clean hands and a pure heart. My God, he who has clean hands and a pure heart. He who, you, you, you cannot just go to worship anyhow. 
You cannot just enter even in virtual worship. Some of you, you're just entering in virtual worship anyhow. No, he said, who's going to ascend into the hills of the Lord? Who is going to ascend into the hills of the Lord? And who's going to stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands. Let me see your hands. Give me some hand symbols. Give me some hand symbol. This is good. Give me some hand symbol. He who has clean hands. He who has clean hands. You remember when the, when Jesus was being crucified, Pilate said, I wash my hands. I wash my hands. He who is going to ascend into the house of the Lord, those who are going to stand in his holy city, those who are going to ascend into the presence of God is those who has clean hands and a pure heart. My God purify my heart that's your prayer this morning on your way to worship tell god purify my heart if there's any bitterness in my heart if there's any jealousy in my heart if there's any unforgiveness in my heart if there's any anger in my heart all week long you've been angry you've been upset with your spouse you've been upset with your co-worker you've been agitated and aggravated you've been mad with people on social media and now you're getting ready to go to corporate worship while you're worship before you go into corporate worship you if you want to ascend into the hills of the lord if you want to stand in the holy place then you're going to have to clean your hands uh, he who has clean hands and a pure heart my god thank you billy for that seed god bless you you have to have clean hands and a pure heart and then he said who is not lifted up his soul to an idol nor sworn deceitfully he said he shall receive blessings from the lord you can't be mad and jealous and angry with people and expect god to bless you are you crazy have you lost your mind my goodness my no 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 he said if you are going to be blessed he said, you shall receive the blessing from the Lord when you have a clean hands and a pure heart and you have not lifted up your soul to idols. I-D-O-L. I know we put people out of the church because of adultery with the A. But what about the idol? You cannot serve no other God but me. God said, I am a jealous God. You can't serve no other God but but me, those who have not lifted up their soul to idol, be careful where you put your pastors, be careful where you put your president, be careful where you put bishop, don't you make nobody an idol, hello somebody, don't you make your pastor an idol, don't you make that church house an idol, don't you make your job an idol, I-D-O-L, don't you do it, don't you do it, don't you make anything, in Isaiah chapter six or seven said in the year that king Uzziah died i saw the lord high and lifted up and his trail filled the temple don't you make your children an idol don't you make your spouse an idol don't you make america an idol god said i am a jealous god and i will not have any god beside me hello somebody don't you put nobody in the place where only god belong we don't take out come on we respect our president but he's not our god we respect our pastors but they're not our god we respect and love our spouse but they're not our god hello somebody hello somebody somebody pull down all the idols pull it down Pull down all the idols, pull it down, pull it down, pull down all the idols, pull it down, pull it down, pull it down, pull it down, pull it down. We pull down every idol, we pull down every idol. Some of us, we value what the president says more than what the prophet says. Some of us, we value the what the prophet says more than what the word of God said. Hello, somebody, we got to make sure that there is no idol. Y'all going to mess up today. Y'all gonna mess this up. Y'all are going to mess this up. Y'all are going to mess this up. Y'all are going to mess this up. Money has become some of our idols. We can't even go to church virtually because we're trying to make money. That's why everything has shut down because we made money our idol. We made cars our idol. We made people are idle come on up in here. We made things our idol. And God said, I'm a jealous God. What did he say? Lord, y'all, 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 whenever y'all get fired up like this and y'all get me fired up, my accent come out, but my accent come out, man. But secondly, y'all add time to the message. 
Okay, everybody breathe in. Breathe out. I don't know if all of y'all are going to catch this. I hope y'all do. Remember, we're talking about 10 days to Pentecost. We are, while we know Pentecost is going to be celebrated on May 31st, Pentecost already happened. <laughs> Pentecost already happened. The first Pentecost was where? At Mount Sinai. The first Pentecost, Stephen heard this going to bless them real good. The first Pentecost happened where? At Mount Sinai. Where did the first Pentecost happen? Give it back to me. The first Pentecost happened where? At Mount Sinai. Now you guys know at Mount, I got to keep moving. We all know that at Mount Sinai, when the children of Israel gathered after they came through the Red Sea, they are at Mount Sinai. We know that Moses went up. God, Stephen Hood, I hope they catch this. Solomon, Michelle Harris, I hope they get this. Everybody didn't go up to Mount Sinai. Who went up to Mount Sinai? Moses. Who may ascend into the hills of the Lord? Teresha. And who is going to stand in the holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart. That was Moses. God help us today. Or oh, everybody can go up. Even though everybody came out, everybody can go up. Oh, oh, I felt that right there. I felt that everybody came out, but everybody didn't go up. Everybody came out, but everybody didn't go up. My God, my God, my God. Y'all, everybody came out, but everybody didn't go up. Yes, Solomon, put it on there. Go ahead, help yourself. Let the Lord lead you as you're putting it on the screen. Everybody came out, but everybody didn't go up. Everybody came out, but everybody, he brought everybody out of Egypt. But just because he brought you out don't mean everybody is going up. Psalms, 1, Psalms 24 said the people who are going up are the people who has clean hands and a pure heart. Has clean hands and a pure heart. So at Mount Sinai, Moses went up. Are y'all following me? Y'all messing me up because I ain't even got to the Psalms for today. It's day four. All right. So Moses Moses goes up. Now you all know, Miss Joanne, you all know Sister Jackie. Shannon, you know that when Moses goes up, how long is Moses up in the mountain? How long is Moses up in the mountain? Moses is up in the mountain for how many days? 40 days, 40, 40. We know it's the 50th day he gets the revelation. And God gives him on the 50th day, God gives him the tabernacle. I mean the law. He gives him the law. Not the, he gives him the law. What does he give him? Lord, this is getting so good. I'm getting, I'm getting that. He gives him the what? He gives him the law. He gives him the law. Now, while Moses is up on the mountain, Solomon, this is so crazy. When, while Moses is up on the mountain receiving the law from God, Guess what the rest of the children of Israel are doing at the bottom of the mountain? <laughs> oh, this is getting ready to be good. Guess what they're doing at the bottom of the mountain? Please, somebody, hurry up and type it. I got 15 minutes. What are they doing? Moses is up on the mountain receiving the Torah, the word of God. And guess what the... <laughs> Guess what the church is doing at the bottom of the mountain? Y'all know what they're doing? They convince Moses' brother. They convince Moses' brother. They convince the assistant pastor. <laughs> they convince Aaron to build a calf. Y'all got it? To build a calf. Hello, somebody. To build a golden image, to build an idol. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. To build an idol. And they started worshiping the golden calf. 
They started worshiping the golden calf. Now Moses is up on the mountain getting revelation and these crazy people, he, the pastor only been gone, Vita, they only, he only been gone for 50 days. He only been gone for 50 days and they have already found a substitute. Lord have mercy. They have replaced Moses with Aaron, I, I'm about to rebuke all of y'all. Yeah, I'm about to rebuke all of y'all because you on virtual, you just church hopping, church hopping, church hopping. What church do I'm not talking about? I'm not talking about if your church is not on social media. Like you're gonna go to your service at eight or ten. At six thirty or to seven thirty, your church is not open virtually, so you can join me. But my goodness, and even if you visit another church, have you been to your church? Have you been to your church space? They've replaced my God. They've already replaced. They have replaced. They have replaced. Yes, they have. They have replaced Moses with Aaron. They have replaced Moses with Aaron. How do you think Moses must have felt? Moses is the one who was in Egypt with them. Moses is the one who brought them through the Red Sea. Moses is the one who called them manna to feed them. Moses is the one who buried their spouse, buried their children. Moses was the one who counseled them. Moses was the one who prayed for them. Moses was the one who interceded for them. And my God, Moses is up in the mountain downloading revelation and they have found a replacement for Moses. Not only have they, re oh my God, Woo, it's getting deep right here. Yeah, it's getting deep. Not only have they replaced Moses, the more tragic thing is they have replaced God. Thank you, God, for giving me the revelation. They have replaced God. God, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I'm about to mess up in here. They have replaced who? They have replaced God. Hello, somebody. They have replaced God. My question is, who have you replaced God with? Who have you replaced God with? Who have you? They have built an idol. They, oh, yeah, it's getting dark up in here. It's getting dark up in here. They have, I mean, they have replaced God. It's not about replacing the pastor. We don't care about that. I don't care. I don't know about any other pastor. But how dare you replace God when God brought you out of Egypt, when God delivered you, when God brought you through. They replaced God with a dumb God. They replaced God with a dumb God. A, a idol, a God that can't even speak, a God that can't even move, a God that can't even talk, a God that wasn't there. Oh my God. They replace. Oh yeah, I'm preaching today, all right. I'm preaching. Yeah, yeah. Who have you replaced even in virtual world? Who have you replaced God with? Who have you replaced God with? Some of you replaced God with money. God, I wish I had some money right here. You replaced God with money. That's what you replaced God with money. We replaced God with people. We put people in the place where only God's supposed to be. We put money in the place where God only God's supposed to be. And God said, I am a jealous God. I am a jealous God. I will have no other God beside me. Now y'all know, oh my God, my God, y'all messing it up. 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 Y'all at it. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, my, my God. My God. My God. My God. They worship. They worship these idols. They worship these idols. And when they came down, when Moses came down, when Moses came down, God, I gotta go. When Moses came down from, when Moses came down from Mount Sinai, carrying the Torah, carrying the law. When Moses comes down and he's carrying the law, he looks down there and he's been only gone for fifty. 50 days and their hearts have already wandered from God. Their heart already wandered from God. Their heart already wandered from God. And Moses comes down and he sees they are having a party. They are have they are worshiping. They're not partying. They worshiping the idol God. They worshiping the idol God. They worshiping the idol God. They worshiping their money. They worshiping their Bentleys. They worshiping their houses. They worshiping their cars. They 
They worship in their job. They worship in their position. They worship in their prestige. And my God, Moses out of jealous anger. Moses out of jealous anger. He dropped it. Look, he dropped it. He dropped it. Moses out of jealous anger. He dropped the Ten Commandments. In fact, he broke it. My God, he broke the Ten Commandments. Moses out of jealous anger. He broke the Ten Commandments. He goes to Aaron, the assistant pastor. He said, what did you do? Y'all ain't ready for me today. And Aaron said, the people is the people is the people. Here comes the blaming game again. Here comes the blaming game. The people wanted another God. The people wanted another God. You better be careful who you put in the place of God. I respect our president but he's not god i respect bishop elders deacons trustees you name them but they not your god i love my family but they not my god it's in him that i live it's in him that i move it's in him he's the only god there's no god like jehovah there's no god like jehovah some of you are so hurry to go back to your building to worship is because you made the building your god you made the building your god oh i can't wait till we get back to worship baby girl you don't even understand worship if you think you gotta go back to a building to worship you've lost your mind the building is not god the building is not the church the people of the church and i want to encourage every pastor out there i know your people are virtually church hopping i know they're jumping all over the place i know it i know it because they're doing it in my church also but your job your job is to stay on the mountain and get the revelation stay on the mountain and get the revelation don't you let them get you so angry that you drop the revelation don't you let them get you so angry that you drop the revelation um we're not babysitting oh shut that i seek in there we're not babysitting you my sheep knows my voice and another they will not follow hello somebody that's what jesus said my sheep knows my voice and another they will not follow Most Moses breaks the Ten Commandments and be careful that you don't allow people to make you miss the revelation that God wants to give you because you have set up a false God. Bring the idols down. Bring the idols down. Stay on the mountain. Stay on the mountain. Where are these pastors out there? Every pastor, every psalmist, stay on the mountain. Every believer, stay on the mountain. And I want to speak to every sheep and to every member when your pastor just cause the church building is closed don't you think we in our house watching love and hip-hop we are in the mountain giving revelation do you think I'm getting this revelation watching CNN no do you think I'm giving this revelation watching Fox no do you think I'm getting this revelation watching love and hip-hop no we in the glory we in the mountain of Mount Sinai so when we show up on Sunday so we can download fresh revelation fresh word fresh anointing hello somebody even virtually we take our calling seriously even virtually we take our assignment seriously our job is to feed you our job is to encourage you our job is to equip you our job is to empower you bring the idols down get your bible and get in the presence of god who will ascend into the hills of the lord he that has clean hands and a pure heart. I got to move on. I'm not even where I need to get to today. That brings us to day number four. And day number four is Psalms 123. Psalms 123. Is this good? Is this blessing anybody? Ooh, Psalms 123. Let's go. Let's go, Psalms psalms 123 let's go psalms 123 day number four lord have mercy i took a long way to get here but i needed to go that way because i want you i want you to enter his gates with thanksgiving and taste right psalms 123 psalms 23 y'all know how i do it. i read it then i'll expound on it if not today of course you know day number five tomorrow 
we do in 10 days psalms 123 unto you i lift up my eyes O you who dwell in the heavens behold as the eyes of servant looks to the hand of your master as the eyes of the maid to the hand of her mistress so our eyes look to the lord our god until he has mercy on us have mercy on us O lord have mercy on us for we are exceedingly filled with content our soul is exceedingly filled with the scorn of those who are at ease with the contempt of the proud. Okay, let me say this, and then we got to get out of here. Let's, you got to get out of here. Remember, Psalms 122, we praying for Jerusalem, we praying for the peace, and we praying for prosperity. And Jerusalem is the place where you worship. I believe God has you in your house to worship because in your house, he's going to release peace and prosperity. Give it back to me in your house, in, in, in your house, in your house that yeah, in your house. And thank you all for letting me come to your house. There's going to be peace and prosperity. What did I say? Peace and prosperity in your house, in my house and in my local house, in my house. And if you want God to put peace in your house and prosperity, you ought to believe God to do it in the church, in, in, in the church house, even virtually, even virtually. So don't hate on Dr. Jazz and the bishops and people who, who are prospering. Come on now. If you want your house to prosper, why don't you pray for God to allow somebody else's house to prosper? I'm praying for peace and prosperity. That was all the peace. Now, now Psalms 1 uh, 23 is my psalms for today. Oh my God. Solomon, do you know Whitney Houston's song? I look to you. Ooh, I look to you. Woo! Whitney Houston, my God. Y'all know Whitney. So Psalms 123, the title is I look to you. What's the title? My God, my God, my God. Where's my singers? My, I look to you. Sheree, thank you for that seed. I look to you. Psalms 123 is the psalm. I titled this, I look to you. Whitney Houston, my girl. Hello, somebody. I look to you. Y'all remember Whitney Houston? She wrote one, an amazing set of music. And Whitney will have this amazing song, right? And um, I think it was when she was trying to make a comeback. Y'all know that? And one of the, her last, her last, her last, her last, her last, her last, um, her last CD, her last CD was entitled, I Look to You. What did I say? What is her last CD? Her last CD was entitled, I Look to You. What I say? Her last CD, my God, my God, I Look to You. I Look to You. Who am I looking to? I look, there it is. That's my girl. That's my girl, Whitney. I look to you. There she is. All right. She wrote it in, in 2009. Oh, God. Lord, thank you for the memories and the music of Whitney Houston. Vida, you know it. You better get on IG because you better come on and sing it. IG, you're going down, so I got to bring you back up. 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 My goodness, my goodness. Hold on, IG. Hold on. Help is on this way. All right, come on, come on, come on. I look to you, Chantel. Thank you for your seed. All right, Whitney Houston. She wrote this. She wrote this. She wrote this. She wrote this in 2009. In 2009. Anybody remember when Whitney Houston passed? Anybody remember when Whitney Houston passed? Well, anybody remember when you, okay. Anybody remember uh, when Whitney, is it, it, uh, is that Poche in, in, in Texas? You better not be you because I am going to. You, if, if that's my psalmist girl, just a worshiper, you know, you know, you know. Don't let me, don't let me, don't let me have to get you. All right, don't let me have to get you. I see all of y'all psalmists here joining. Okay, so Whitney Houston wrote this song in 2009. Y'all remember that? I look to you. All right, I don't have time to go down Whitney Houston memory. We got to go to church. Okay, what's what's your favorite Whitney Houston song? Okay, what's your favorite Whitney Houston song? What's your what's your favorite Whitney Houston song? All right, so Whitney Houston has this song. What's your favorite Whitney Houston? Okay, she died. When was it? When did Whitney Houston pass? When was the Whitney Houston pass? Okay, when did Whitney Houston pass? Anybody know? In 2012, 2012, 2012. But in 2009, 
in 2009, Whitney Houston, Stephen, you like all her songs. You love, okay, so you remember in 2009, she wrote that song, I Look to You. Now, all of us, not all of us, my God, God bless Whitney Houston. All of us know, all of us know, okay, I don't know my own, I didn't know my own strength. Oh God, Destiny, you know that, that's my song, Whitney Houston, I didn't know my own strength. I will always love you. I will always love you. Oh my goodness. Yes, she died February the 11th. 2012 i would what's your whitney hune song what's your okay what's your whitney houston favorite song what's your whitney well i believe in the children and our future oh gosh yeah yeah oh gosh that's a great one what is your favorite whitney houston song y'all not gonna preach it i'm gonna preach it out y'all not gonna preach it out y'all not gonna preach it what's your favorite whitney houston song okay okay and what's your favorite whitney houston song okay don't don't we always have it all don't didn't we always oh steven didn't we almost almost have it all my goodness didn't we almost have it all i love that song oh my gosh i love that song i love that song i love that i'm every woman hello hello somebody give it back to me what is your favorite whitney Houston? oh i don't want to dance with somebody Feel the heat with somebody. Ooh, yeah, yeah. I got, I got. Y'all gotta stay focused. Look at y'all. Look at y'all. Y'all. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Shoop, 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 shoop. That's right. That's right. Oh my God. Oh, body God. I mean, saving all my love. Saving all my love for you. There you go, Solomon. Put it out there. We all know Whitney Houston and what. What an amazing music and what an amazing message. And if you follow me, you know my 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 thing about finally me is the making of me, the 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 making of me, the meaning of me, but number 3 is the messy me, the messy me. And oh my goodness, as powerful as as Whitney has and all of us, we all have made some mistake. Where are we where are we? Where I didn't know my own strength. Where where are we? All of us. We know the making, the meaning, but the mess. And you know the only difference between Whitney and all of us. The only difference is what her mess was all over. Her, her mess was all over on social media, Facebook, Twitter. Oh my God. Oh my God. We wouldn't even lead the the, the woman. You know nothing is worse than when your mess is in public. It's when your mess is in public. It's when your mess is in public. Nothing is more painful when people put your stuff out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, but Whitney, Whitney, after battling so many things, so many demons, like we all do, so many of us, of course, we all know that Whitney's demon was not drugs. That's what we think. That's the surface. It wasn't drugs. Drugs was just, drugs was just, drugs was just something to try to suppress the demons. And it lets you know the most gifted people are sometimes the most tormented people. The most gifted people. So I want you to pray for all those gifted people y'all admire and you like. Jay-Z and Beyonce and Bishop Jakes, all the gifted people. The gifted people are sometimes the most tormented people. Yeah, they're the most tormented people. And um, Whitney, 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 oh, Whitney. Um, her demons was out in public. Her demons was out in public. Your demon is private. <laughs> Your demon is private. And God, deliver us from bloggers. Deliver us from bloggers who capitalize on our demons. And deliver us from some of you who support the bloggers. Yeah, I'm going there today. Mm -hmm. Deliver us. I don't even concern myself about the bloggers. I'm not concerned about so many of y'all who follow bloggers, who repost this story, and you don't even know what it is. You don't even know the truth. And Whitney tried to make a comeback. The Bible said the just man fall it seven times, but rises up again. I got to go. Y'all got to go to church. The just man fall it seven times, but rises up again. The just man fall it seven times and rises up again. And Whitney has fallen seven times. I've fallen 7,000 times. Anybody out there? I said, how many? We, you can't even count how many times you've fallen. We all have fallen. But you can get back up again. Get back up again. And 2009, Whitney 
attempt to get back up. And the CD, her last CD was entitled, I Look to You. Psalms 123. I'm going to pick it up tomorrow. Psalms 123. Is a psalm that said, I look to you. I look to you. I can't look to nobody else, but I look to you. Hey, y'all got to go to church. My church starts at eight o'clock. Um, uh, you know how we do it. Let's get ready to sow our seed. Let's get ready to uh, fall in 70,000 times. That's why I'm, it's, I, I stopped counting. I stopped counting. A just man fall at seven. Seven is the number of completion. You're going to fall until you can't fall no more. <laughs> yeah, you see, let me say this. The reason why we keep on falling is because we don't know why we do what we do. Oh, y'all missed it. We don't know why we do what we do. Until you get the why behind the what. You're going to keep doing what you do. Hello, somebody, until you understand the why behind the what. Now, the church tends to focus on what you do. Oh, God. Yeah, bloggers focus on what you do, but they don't know why you do what you do. And they don't need to know why you do. You need to know why you do. And until you know why you do what you do, you won't stop doing what you do. I just give you a whole bunch of doo-doo. <laughs> Until you know why you do what you do. Why you stay in unhealthy relationship. Why, why you drink. Why are you an alcoholic? Why you, why you have to do drugs? Until you know why you do what you do, you won't be able to stop what you do. Now, we got to go. Now, everybody knows. We're asking everybody to sow a seed of $120 in the 10 days. I'm doing 10 days. If I was at your church, I would pick up an offering. 10 days revival. I'm asking you to sow a seed of $120. You can do it all at once or you can break it up, break it up, break it up. Let's get ready to sow. Father, thank you for gift. Thank you for giver. Thank you, God, for gift. And thank you for giver. We ask even now you bless it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, let's start giving. 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 All right. I'm going to pick it up tomorrow. What You know, I got 10 days. I got 10 days. I got 10 days. Thank you for your seed, Cynthia. I see you. I see you. I see you. Battery. I see you. I see you. Thank you for your seed. Battery Thank you for your seed. Thank you Connected for your seed. You. Jasmine Zeitfeld. Thank you.
we gotta go we gotta go god bless you all tomorrow is day number five today read psalms 123 i look to you mom from your son from africa hello my son from africa cape town how you doing how you doing how you doing how you doing dm me dm me all right bless you bless you bless you that's whitney houston song i look to you i look to you i had to drop it out there i just had to drop it out there psalms 123 i look to you tomorrow i'm going to elaborate on it i look to you read hebrews chapter 12 and read hebrews chapter 4 and let me say thanks everybody for sowing all of your seed let me just acknowledge y'all thank you so very much i believe in acknowledging people who give to our ministry so thank y'all wow thank y'all i see y'all okay let me get y'all let me get y'all let me get y'all okay thank you hey stephen thanks for your seed stephen hood thank you claudia thank you uh mcdowell thank you atkins thank you la asia thank you tracy thank you kimberly thank you uh dr toya thank you cynthia thank you uh sheila thank you Chantel, thank you nada thank you jacqueline thank you uh, 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 Solomon, thank you. Sheree, thank you. Virginia, thank you. Billy, thank you. Michelle, thank you. Franklin, thank you. Sandra, thank you. Thank you so very much. Uh, Diane, thank you. God bless you. Thank, thank y'all so very much for your seed. I appreciate it. Uh, uh, Brandy Whitney. There's a lady out here that sold a seed and your last name is Whitney. Oh, thank you so very much for your seed. I appreciate it so, so very much. All right. God bless you all. Have a fantastic day. Let's, let's go to worship. Let's go to worship. All right. Let's go to worship. God bless you guys. God bless you. Have a fantastic day. Let's go to corporate worship because we already worship right here. I go to worship to what church you worship at. Go to your, go to church. Oh God. It's been rich. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're doing uh 10 days ascension. So today is day number four. Tomorrow is day five. Stephen Hood, you know, um, there's 15 ascent sounds. So we're doing one a day, one a day. Thank you. I'm honored that you would take the time to come on. To all of the pastors, all the pastors, Vita, Vita, thank you so very much. Uh, Peggy Macklin, all of the pastors, uh, all of you pastors, thank you so very much. Uh, oh gosh, oh gosh, you know, whew. What a what a gift Whitney was, what a gift. What a gift, what a gift. You know, and I was reading these Psalms and the Lord said, the, 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 this Psalm is, I look to you, I look to you. I look to you, I look to you. This week I pray that, I pray for no distraction. Yeah, no distraction. Oh gosh, no distraction. Yeah. Yeah, no no distraction. Oh God. We look to you. We look to you. Ooh. We look to you. We look to you. We look to you. We look to you. Don't you get distracted over these political stuff. Don't you get distracted. Don't you get distracted. We look to you. We look to you. Woo. Y'all know, last couple of days, God just been showing up and messing us up. We look to you. We look to you. We look to you for strength and we look for you to you for peace. We look to you. Let me say this and I'm I'm through. Even Memorial Weekend, I know it's I know it's challenging to stay put. I know it is. I know it is. I know it is. I know it is. But even if you're gonna be around your family, friends, social distancing, 
social distancing. That's right. Um, on Monday at 9 a.m., Monday's Memorial Day, and at 9 a.m., I'm doing a Memorial Day service. Solomon, we may have to put Whitney on there. At 9 a.m., I'm doing a memorial service. I'm doing a memorial service for those who've lost their lives during COVID-19. We do a memorial service for those who've lost their lives during COVID-19. And we've asked, we've asked many of you to send in your picture of your loved ones. Tomorrow at nine. Daniel, thank Gresham, thank you for your seed of 120. Tomorrow at 9 a.m. We respect the soldiers and but tomorrow we want to remember those who lost their lives during COVID-19. And our heart goes out. Our heart goes out. To many of you who've lost loved ones and we've gotten some pictures and thank y'all for sending your pictures tomorrow at 9 a.m it's gonna be a crying weekend for me it's gonna be a crying weekend for me and i'm fine with it all right God bless you all. Eight o'clock is my service. Eight and 10. Eight and 10. And I'm preaching on the essential worker. Check it out. Eight and 10. God bless you all. We just honored and buried my grandmother yesterday. Wow. Danielle, our prayers are with you. Pray for my son for safe travel home. Last week, he lost his cousin and grandmother. He has two funeral to go to this week. I definitely will pray for him. Yeah. 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 Thank you for sharing that. Sharing that. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you for sharing that. Okay, y'all go. Bless you, Nada. God bless you. Okay, y'all go. Go ahead. I just like to sit for a moment right here. Go ahead. <laughs> 